successful creative placemaking for these different types of communities was the ability to um, mobilize political will and to build coalitions that cut across all different project types. So I wonder if you know, you're not getting traction because it's maybe speaking to too small a segment mm -hmm. of your community. <clears throat> so do some due diligence about your stakeholders and think about why, you know, what goals and objectives would, would be synergistic? Uh, what would success look like to these groups? So here are some of the often cited justifications. Urban revitalization, reversing blights. You know, you actually have a pretty nice looking downtown. I don't know if this is, if this is an issue for you or not. Um, supporting ancillary, ancillary businesses, drawing tourists, Oh, here you have the gentrification, you know, people want to raise property values and build condos, perhaps. Go ahead. Uh, tourism. Go ahead. Uh, attracting and retaining the middle, middle class educated workforce. That could be an argument that's put forward, that creative class argument. Uh, civic pride and connecting diverse cultures and, and, and having opportunities to celebrate and inspire. Now, but this is, this is actually a festival, which could occur in a cultural district or could not. Um, so there, again, there are potentially different strategies that could meet these needs. And then, of course, supporting the arts and cultural sector, which I would suspect is maybe where you started from. So maybe there are physical space needs. Maybe you do need more um, infrastructure. Perhaps there's a desire for the sum of the whole to be larger than its parts. Maybe uh, you want to try to boost struggling parts of your arts and cultural ecology. Or perhaps they're particularly strong assets from which you would like to build. Or maybe it's just a desire to increase the visibility and valorize, even if it's not economically, uh, the arts and cultural sector in your community.